me down on the mat. Good. So this is just a little station behavior. So they know to put their front feet on this little mat when I say on the mat. show off her natural jumping skills since she is a little goat. Can you turn around? I didn't ask you for that. Can you turn around? Good. This way? Oh, you missed it. Can you go this way? Good. Good job. Over. Over. Cynthia, can you talk about what you're giving them and um, how they learn to do these behaviors? Yeah, absolutely. So goats are very food motivated. Jump. So it's pretty easy to get them to, to learn things. Yeah. Well, I'll say pretty easy for some of them. Some of them not so much. Come. Sorry, my goats are all letting themselves out over there. It's <laughs> making me laugh. <laughs> On the mat. using Fruit Loops today. Um, so we use a lot of different things with the goats. Poop. So some of them prefer Cheerios, some of them prefer Fruit Loops. It really just depends on, you know, who we're working with, what they might like better. Over. <laughs> you goofball. Over. Is it too high? Let's try and put it lower. You did it last week. Over. Look. Over. There yeah. you go. Good job. So we just start small with them when we're teaching them how to do things. So the on the mat behavior was one of the first things that we started with. It's pretty easy. They learn pretty quickly that if their feet are on that mat that they're going to get something from us. Come. Good. They also have a propensity to jump up on our legs. Good. Just jump down. Good. So we can work with that as well. Um, so a lot of times you can just capture a behavior. Good. Which means that they're already doing it. This way. Good. And you just reward them for doing it. So that was one of the things that we kind of used that for. And then the other things, at first, you might have to kind of lead them through a behavior. And then eventually they're like, oh, got it. If I do that, <laughs> then I'm going to get something for it. Kind of like this. So with this thing, at first, we just kind of had to guide them through the behavior. Jump up. Jump down. Good. And then once they figured out that they were going to get something for doing it, they'll just do it when they're asked. Look, come right here. You want to turn the hoop? Good. Good job. Arabella. So this is one of Queen Anne's little sisters. On the mat. Good. Oh, I dropped it. Sorry. Come. <laughs> She gets very excited. She loves to play the game. That's what we say. Okay. <laughs> they and, know what that means. And uh, cheater. <laughs> cheating. Not cheating allowed. That's my nice. And Cynthia, can you talk about how many goats you all have down here at the Kids Cove Barn? And how do you determine if a goat is a good candidate for training? Arabella. <laughs> Arabella, I don't have anything Over. for you. Good job. Good job. Yes. So we have 25 goats right now. Poop. Good. Um, which is a pretty full house for us. I don't think we can hold too many more goats because we also have four sheep and the two donkeys as well. Um, so really good. Yeah. Good. Um, the goats kind of helped us decide. If they were good candidates for this or not. So we already kind of had special relationships with the goats that we train with. She's gonna come say hi to you guys. Maybe. Wow. Good job. So we already have those special relationships with these guys. Jump down. Good. Um so that goes a long way. We already have <laughs> kind of a 
trusting relationship with them. This way. Good. And how often would you work with them on these behaviors in order to keep them uh, sort of in practice with it? So typically we try to train with them at least once a week if we have the opportunity to do it, uh, you know, more than once a week, then we certainly will. Good. And but now, most of the time it's about once a week, and that seems to be plenty. They they seem to to pick right back up, um, even if we miss a week. Yeah. You know, if we're off or if someone else is off and we don't have the opportunity to train with them, turn around. Good. Um, they they seem to pick right back up from where they were. <laughs> hey, Obviously. I didn't ask you for that. And can you talk about what what is the benefit of these kind of behaviors for the goats? I mean, what are they what are they getting out of it? So obviously, mental stimulation on the map, good. Um, and they're also getting you know sensory information while they're out here too. <laughs> right. Such a cheater. Um, they're in a different area that they're not normally in. Uh, hunts. Well, yeah, I know some. Good. I know some grown-ups who couldn't do this. Yeah. <laughs> It's also really fun for us because a lot of people don't realize, you know, that goats are intelligent enough to learn how to do all of these things. Uh, but obviously, they are. Yeah. Good. Over. Good job.